So um, the area of interest to me, and I've discussed this with others in our congregation, um, we actually have a decent number of us who are Jews by choice. And the question of whether we are the reincarnation of a Jewish soul born into a family that wasn't Jewish and have felt that draw back in. I've felt it myself. And um, I even went as far as doing a, one of the DNA things, and I don't have a drop of Jewish blood. 1% Tamil, Sri Lankan Tamil, but... <laughs> there you go. But not a drop of Jewish blood. So um, it's not an ancestor thing. It has to be a soul thing, I guess, because uh, has anybody done any kind of uh, research into that or, you know, uh, hypnotized people in those kind of circumstances and revealed that that's... Sure. So, so first of all, the, the idea of, of, a, of a Jew and becoming a Jew or a Jewish soul, remember that when, when a convert converts... It doesn't say a non-Jew that converts. In our tradition, it doesn't say a non-Jew that converts to Judaism, that becomes something different. It's say a convert who converts. I mean, it's more like passive. It's, it's talking about that the person already inherently was a convert, mm. was basically a, a Jewish soul that was just kind of like, it was covered over by, by life scenarios or the family that it was born into. It has nothing to do with the genetics that a person has. A person... A person is genetically, a, a convert is genetically related to their parents, right? But spiritually is, is, in a different, is, is different from them, right? A Jewish soul and, and, and not a Jewish soul, different things. That's fine. That doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't make one better or worse. Doesn't, but um, yes, the, there is an idea that the, the individual the, on a soul level was already had had this connection with with Judaism with with Torah in particular, and that the conversion process and the the situations that they found themselves in that galvanized them to become Jewish in an outward way were already embedded in the person uh, to begin with souls souls are not the way that we we would tend to think that well obviously the people that i 'm related to are the people that soul wise i 'm also most connected to it 's not always the case. In fact, oftentimes it's not the case. You see families that are very different. Each character in the family is a very different person. Just because you're genetically related, that's nice, that's good. But that doesn't necessarily mean that soul-wise that there's a perfect fit amongst everyone in the family. So genetics and souls are two very different things. So it's very possible that, that 23andMe, yeah, maybe showed you that you're part Sri Lankan, Right? I couldn't believe it. Right, like, that's, okay. that's, pretty, that's pretty wild. <laughs> but that has nothing to do with your spiritual identity. And that, that is, the, when we talk about souls and we talk about reincarnation, that's the focus of, of where we are. There, there's no way to trace that, per se. That's but I was wondering if anyone had done any regression-type stuff on people. There, there are certain righteous individuals throughout the course of history who have been able to tell people who they were. It was on a need-to-know sort of basis to correct a specific thing that this righteous, this tzaddik, this righteous individual thought that if you knew these specific details, it would enhance you in this life. It was all about this life. It wasn't just, for, oh, I went to a conference and I got hypnotized and decided you know, to find out who I was. I was Sri Lankan, actually. <laughs> but uh, but um, the, idea is, the, the idea is that they, they would tell the people only to correct something that was going on in this world. And so certainly the fact that your Judaism, and you said a large number of your community's Judaism, yeah. has been by choice, it's, it's a beautiful thing to see people come back together and uh, reunite in who they really are, essentially, and be able to express that in the form of conversion. Uh, I felt drawn to Judaism before I even met the first Jew. It, it's, it's, a, it's a... Okay. <laughs> I read Leon Uris's Exodus when I was 17 and was just enthralled and uh, and I didn't understand exactly why I didn't meet my husband till in college it's a powerful yeah. thing sometimes sometimes oftentimes with people who actually do complete the conversion process you ask them well, what what was it that that got you going and say I just kind of felt it all along 
It was never, yep. it wasn't, uh, I didn't hear an inspiring lecture. I didn't attend uh, some Jewish conference or whatnot. Those things don't hurt. But it was something I always felt deep inside of me. That's a soul thing. And that's one, that's one of the values of, of, of being a convert is you get to see it in real life, that, that soul that was, that was inside of you would be able to express itself now in full, in full fruition.